right, Jake talked about getting to the quarterback being a priority. How hard is that when the ball's getting out of there so quickly, and how do you guys feel like you've done in those first two games? I mean, you know, like you said, you know, the ball's getting out there quick. You know, first two games we're playing team that, that you know, that, that, that I'm sure I know we have some good pass rushes on our side of the ball. And, and you know, their game plan to get the ball out, you know, three-step drop, quick routes, things of that nature. But all we can do is continue to do what we've been doing. You know, just trying our best to get there. Because, you know, like our coach always say, when you continue and keep going and keep going, you know, the, the quarterback's going to officially have to hold it. You know, we got good DBs, you know, in the back end who's going to, you know, do a, a great job of, of holding their receivers. And all we can do is continue to do what we've been doing. Frank, we talked to you after the game. What was your initial reaction as the game was going on and then it was over? How did you deal with Saturday? I mean, I, I, I deal with it just like I deal with any kind of loss. You know, I'm a competitor, you know, and as a competitor, no one likes losing. But then again, it is a game, you know, and everyone loses. You know, it, 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 you know, Notre Dame is a great team, and I give them all the credit. You know, the tradition, the rivalry is a great rivalry in the tradition. But, um, you know, they came prepared to play. We came prepared to play as well. And I believe we beat ourselves on a lot of things. This is for Frank first and then for anybody that wants to answer. They, given that Notre Dame's a great team, is there still, is it the coach's job to grab this team by the collar and say this that performance was not ex acceptable? Or are there guys on the team, leaders, that, that get involved with that as well? I think it's a joint effort. You know what I mean? Our coaches do a good job of, you know, giving us the game plan and letting us know what it's going to be. You know, and I, you know, like like you said, I believe it's those guys on the team, the leaders. You know, the Jake Ryan, the, the Dennis North Fleece, those guys who whose job it is to keep the team going and to keep everyone, especially when you're in someone else's environment. And that's what you have to do day in and day out. Coach Hope said that the older guys on the team address the younger guys and kind of work out, you know, any mental thing that happened because of loss. How would you guys address it to make sure everyone's on the same page going forward? I mean, really just letting the guys know that, that we still have a season left. You know what I mean? It isn't, it isn't the final game of the season, you know, and, and we still have 10 games to show everyone what Michigan is capable of doing. And, you know, one thing we always preach is just finishing. And that's one thing we have to do, you know, for the rest of the season. You know, you just got to instill those guys that our goal still out there and that's the Big Ten Championship and, you know, that's what we got to work towards every single day. Jake, what's the key to, to forcing turnovers? And I know Coach Madison said that was one of the high things on the list that this defense hasn't done so far. Mm, yeah, um, we have in these past two games. And, uh, you know, it's huge for us and, you know, um, huge for our offense because we need to get the, back, the ball back in their hands and to, uh, you know, score. So, um, you know, the key to creating turnovers is creating turnovers. You gotta get to the ball, and you know you gotta have a knack for the ball. Um, you know where it's at, and um, you know what's gonna happen with it. So um, we gotta improve on that, and you know take those necessary steps forward in order to you know create turnovers. Frank, there were, there were times that you guys were getting goals in pretty quickly, and which led to quick throws and, and quick strikes. Is there anything positive that you guys can take away from the pressure that you you were able to apply to him? I mean, yes, you know, at the end of the day, you, you can get there, but if you don't make the play, it don't mean nothing. You know, the pressure that we did, you know, got on Ghosting, you know, we did a great job as far as that, but we didn't do enough. And at the end of the day, if you don't get there, you don't make the play. And like I said, it doesn't mean absolutely nothing. But, I mean, you can take a couple of good things from it, you know, but like I said, at the end of the day, you got to get them down when you get there. Uh, Dennis, how excited were you to see uh, Jake Butt return from the injury and get, get some time out of uh, I was really excited. You know, Jake been been working real hard, you know, since uh, we've been training and everything. And just to see him back, just to see him happy again, you know, you know, part of the family. Uh, it's really a great thing to have one of our brothers back on the team to be on the road with us again. Have you said anything to him about that adjustment to coming back and, and getting on the field? Have you guys talked at all? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I just give him the little pointers that I was given last year. And, um, one thing that I was, it was the Penn State game last year, and, you know, not to jump up and celebrate, twist in the air, you know, like everyone does that these days. But um, he did it in practice one day, and I was just like, you know what, you don't want to go through this again. So 
um, you know, just keep your head where it's at. You don't need to, you don't need to celebrate, jump up in the air, and you know, you know, no one ever wants to go through that twice. And um, but you know what, he's controlled it. He's done a great job. He's worked hard. And I'm glad to see him back.